Hello, I'm Chang Xu. Uh, today I want to show a piece of work uh, I did on aligning LaTeX, PDF, and markup uh, language. In this work, the accessibility is not only for humans, but also for more about uh, large, language, large language models for scientific publications. Uh, we begin with uh, uh, showing capabilities of large language models in reading uh, uh, scientific papers uh, and I will highlight uh, current limitations and explain why uh, it's crucial to make PTF documents uh, more accessible to uh, models. My approach is creating ac accessibility through color alignment. Uh, so let's start. Uh, in recent two years, uh, large language models has, has provided an entirely new way for us to read uh, papers on the internet. They can help us to read, summarize paper quickly, help us to extract information, uh, do question answering, uh, or even uh, recommend new papers for us to read. Uh, so. The, uh, uh, this is because the, uh, the large language model uh, can process and understand the text uh, very efficiently. But, uh, however, uh, many paper uh, on the internet are now distributed only with PDF uh, format. So, uh, the model... Sorry. I forgot to uh, the next page. Sorry, um, large language model uh, can help us extract uh, information uh, very quickly. But for PDF content model, as a read all the copyable uh, text from the page, which which include a, no a noisy um, or just read the, the document whole as an image, but not that correct, uh, accuracy. Uh, or the, there's another input method using Markdown and lit, plus latest code, uh, which promotes, uh, uh, perform uh, the most advantage. Um, uh, here. Oh. Sorry, the, the controller is... I, I, I cannot switch to the next. Uh, no. Okay. Um, so there's a very recent research on how large language model can understand math. So if we, we see the example, f uh, if we input a uh, asymmetric uh, functions image, the model may mystically think it's symmetric because the uh, visual encoder of the large language model may over compress the information from the picture, but the model uh, usually can understand the latest code better. So, um, which highlights the need of model to capture PDF information as original as possible. So, how uh, we can let a large language model to get lossless information? So, for pa uh, papers that has available a latex source, it's very easy. Uh, for example, on um, Overleaf, we can simply double-click the PDF region, and there's a package named uh, Syntax to jump up into uh, where uh, the, the latest code related. Uh, and, but for paper with only PDF uh, format available, this method doesn't work. And we, uh, the good things, we, we have a OCR tool or model that convert PDF screenshots to latex or markdown. But uh, this tool doesn't really work well because it's operate 
on a paid basis. In the training pr process, uh, the model doesn't really know uh, which element positioning where on the PDF page. So we really need a more precisely uh, aligned data set to improve the OCR tool. Okay. So what the properties should uh, accessibility for large language model to have, I think uh, it should at least be able to uh, read correctly and uh, maintain a uh, document tree structure correctly. So that, uh, for example, we ask the model a question about section one, the model will not uh, answer the uh, section two's information. Um, and uh, the model should more importantly uh, read f uh, formulas or tables related to code so that uh, making it more precise, uh, <coughs> accuracy. Uh, to make this uh, a data set uh, improving the OCR model, uh, we get uh, a lot of high quality data from archive. Uh, because uh, archive, the latest source are at least uh, checked by the staff and they are all able to be compiled into PDF. Uh, and, but uh, archive's uh, latest code are not always error free. So I dived into the code to did a little bit debugging automatically to fixing uh, the unmatch environment and the brackets and expanding uh, as much user-defined uh, commands as possible. And uh, plus I, uh, I, I use a Python-based parser and enhance the data set of the parser's commands to uh, from from a uh, plugin from uh, uh, for a VS Code, which named a latest workshop, to uh, enhance the data data set because latex workshop has a feature that how to complete in uh, in in the writing to uh, sorry <laughs> how to complete the commands in the in the uh, writing process, so. Uh, finally, uh, we can uh, parse most of the latex code into Python abstract uh, syntax tree and assigning each page element or latex element a unique color. Here, um, I changed, I modified a little bit of the auto text which as mentioned in yesterday's uh, talk, uh, it doesn't really uh, tolerate any error, but I struggled to, <laughs> to change a little bit to make, make it a, a little bit uh, error tolerate and uh, compile the color modified PDF uh, plus a dictionary to record each color uh, corresponding to uh, which uh, latex and PDF elements plus its attributes. Here is a label about, uh, about how it's written in latex and how it's uh, reading order or which section it belongs. Um, plus, uh, we standardize the annotation because uh, the latex directly uh, extract from the file are not uh, necessarily or <laughs> sorry uh, still uh, not enough in the pre-processing uh, pre step. The user-defined commands uh, are still not very standard. So uh, luckily, I can use LaTeX ML to parse all the user-defined 
uh, commands to uh, very standardized latest code that can correctly rendered by, let's say, messages, text, and uh, read by large language models. So by this way, we can uh, simply convert any uh, PDF into Markdown plus Latex and let large language model read it easily. But it's not always work. Let's see, uh, uh, for the figure three and table one, the, the, the caption labels are not um, colored correctly by my changing because they have uh, uh, other internal uh, internal uh, conversions, so uh, this doesn't work. Plus, if we uh, if the, the the paper already have some color text, the, the color will be uh, not overwritten by my changing. Plus, the Python-based parser is still not really good. Uh, I. I found 40% uh, of paper are still have small parts cannot be colored. So uh, at next uh, next step, I will try to move to more basic level. Let's see, latex level. The tech PDF package can also generate very high quality uh, annotations, and uh, I plan to use. Uh, latex instead uh, instead of Python. That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Are there any questions, comments? I don't see anything at the moment. Nobody? Oh, Ulrike, you look like you want to say something. <laughs> uh, if they can handle latex source better than PDF, then perhaps it would be easiest to simply embed the latex source into the PDF. And then they can extract it from the PDF and have the latex source and can go on <laughs> without annotations in the PDF. Uh, uh, it's um, let's see uh, if I I'm reading a paper and talk with you. I uh, I have a question about the the figure in page number five. Uh, if we directly compile or uh, convert the latest to Markdown, we don't have the location. We lose the co-reference of the the page and the lay layout. Plus, sometimes we only have the P uh, PDF page. We want change the PDF to Markdown. In this case, we don't have uh, latex, so it doesn't work. Okay. So, Boris, anything from YouTube and the outer world? Okay. Okay, so, okay, so thanks a lot again for your talk.